tell me about the Sling TSI. Well, the Sling TSI, I think, is what we've all been waiting for. It's great that uh, Rotax came out with this lovely new engine. We've got 40% more horsepower. It's everything plus more that they promised. Here we have the first product out the factory that was actually built on a Build Assist program with the new owners. They went over from the US and they spent a month in South Africa on the Build Assist program. And yeah, we have a product that's going to surpass all our expectations. I believe we're going to be better than the prototype figures and we're looking really forward to flying it on Monday and seeing what really happens. Now, what have you learned from the original proof of concept TSI? What are the kind of the numbers we should be able to expect for the future? I would say at least 145 plus knots true airspeed at about 8,000 feet. Climb rates are going to be really good, 1,200 plus at all up weight. And we're going to be burning 7 point something, 8 gallons an hour at that cruise. So she's going to be a real good cross country machine. For years now we've been operating these engines and you can have MoGas or AvGas in any form, in any mixture, you don't change anything and that makes it even better for cross country and of course for operating from your home field if you're running off MoGas. So if somebody's interested in this airplane, if they want a truly cost effective four place, what do they need to do, what are your expectations for what it's going to take, availability, kit building and talk a little bit about builder assist. So now that the mold is set, if one wants to put it like that, we started producing them in the factory in South Africa. Anyone that wants to order one now can put their order in. You can have a kit probably in two to three months time from now. And you can get that either as a flat pack kit or the quick build kit, or you can get a build assist program, which can be done in Oregon or in Torrance, or you can go to South Africa and you can do a build assist there. So. We'll facilitate whatever suits the customer to get him or her a four-seater. If you wanted to build a quick build TSI, all your instruments, your airframe components, your instruments, your engine, you'd be in for about 155,000. That's with basic VFR instruments and of course then it could vary anything, add another 20 or 30,000 if you want to go complete IF package. And if you wanted to get a machine like this that is complete and you did a build assist program you'd be into about 230 to, to about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. What's the approximate building time difference between the straight kit and the quick build kit? The quick build kit takes about 500 hours off the build time and what is nice about it comes packaged very nicely you take your wings out you take your fuselage out and you start the installation of all your components. So very quickly you've got a fuselage standing there, you can get your engine on and start in, putting in your instruments very soon. With the amount of aeroplanes factories putting out now is the build quality is really of high standard so you get your parts, everyone's happy with what they've been getting and very quickly you can get in and start making aeroplane noises. Do you think with your experience from the 915 so far that the engine and this package is going to meet expectation? I think it's going to surpass expectation. It's one of these cases where I believe that it's under promise and it's going to over deliver. So far from the initial figures that Rotax came out with, it's over delivering and it just seems to be getting better and better. It's, it's really a nice engine and so far it's just worked absolutely faultlessly and perfectly. Aero TV is brought to you by Trig Avionics is proud to announce the new 1.3 inch slimline TX56A and TX57A Navcom. Featuring a high resolution display with the graphical CDI, configurable memory, two play stereo intercom, and a built in VOR LOC converter, the TX56A will enhance your navigation and communication through all phases of flight. Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simple avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com